So the next update on the GE Shaper, I'm going to tell you what I found, what I've been learning about the machine. You know, it has to do with the oiling system here. There's the inside drying out nice. Still got a little bit of oil dripping down there from the oiling system in the gears, but it's drying out really nice. So you've already seen me machine one of these. This is one of the oil sight glasses that goes right up here on the top. And I didn't realize it and I didn't think to pull on these things whenever I had first made this cap, but they, they just have a very, very slight push-in fit so that you can take them and, and pop them out with your fingers. So that's one there. This is another one for this end right here. Now inside these, you have oil wicking, uh, like a like string or rope, but it's uh, oil oil wicking felt is what it is. So I've got them pulled out. There's one that's pulled out right there, and so the oil comes up, comes out of the tube, and you've got a you got a hole there where it's going to go through and oil the ramways here, and anything that's left that's not getting oiled there is going to drop back down and fall down back into the the sump here that's on all of them now i didn't pull this one out yet just so you can see what it looks like in there and in the manual i figured out about all this stuff because i was reading the manuals that a few of the guys had sent you can adjust the oil by pressing this in there tighter or creating more oil flow by kind of loosening it up maybe even taking a little bit out but they're very dirty and so I decided I want to go ahead and change them out. Got that one out there. Now I haven't messed with that one yet because that's the one I bumped in there. So that one's probably going to be a little bit tight. I didn't realize that these were just designed so that you can, you know, pull them back out. Just like that. So I'm going to work on that one. So what I did, I just placed an order for McMaster car for some of this felt right here. It'll be 1-8 diameter. I got 20 feet of it. Like I said, it looks like string. And you can just see how nasty and dirty. this. All this right here come from that hole right here, that oiling hole. And just see how nasty it is. So I wish I would have thought about that sooner and got that stuff coming, but I just placed an order so hopefully this stuff will be there tomorrow. If not, it'll be here the very next day. I'm still waiting on the oil for the <clears throat> for the sump here. This is one of the, the way wipers that go right here. And what I did was I measured the felt. It's got two layers of felt in it. So I pulled them back to get a measurement. So I ordered some felt strip also so that I can uh, refelt all of the wipers on this end and the the other in there and I'm um, going to redo these down here as well. I'm going to take these covers off and we'll have a felt strip in there as well. Oh yeah, look at all that. Look at all that gunk and grime. Dirty stuff, man. All right, I think we got them all out of there. I'll get in there and clean all these out good. I'm gonna start working on the the new oil cap for the for the ramways. This is the one that I I had made before, and I popped it out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one, and this is gonna be another temporary one because I bought this sight glass here, and I'm doing this so that I can get it on the machine and you know get it ready to uh, fire up once we put the oil in there so i've got this piece of bronze right here some uh, bronze bearing stock and i can bore that tap it for half inch mpt that's what that is and machine it you know part one off and that's what we'll use but i have another viewer that's actually sending he had contacted me and he is going to be sending me some of those press in sites so it'll it'll look a lot more like it's supposed to we'll machine another one out of this and have it to, so that the sight glass actually presses down in there and it'll still be thin kind of like that but just be a quickie little project we'll go down to the lathe and get this one knocked out oh 
I wanted to show you this too. So this is some of that cord that I had cleaned up at work. This is what was in there. This is the felt cord. I'm not sure exactly if this is felt cord. This, this looks more like string, but I'm not really sure. But I cleaned it up so you could see what it is. Now, this is the replacement that I bought for McMaster car. This is 1-8 diameter felt cord. That's a 20 foot length of it, but I got two of these so that, I'd, uh, so that I had enough of it, hopefully. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. We'll end up cutting some to fit down in those little holes and replace this stuff here. All right, let's get this piece of bronze indicated. This doesn't have to be perfectly indicated because we're going to skin that OD true. There we go. That's going to be good right there. Tap size for half half inch MPT is 2330 seconds, about 718 thousandths. And that bore is just under 700 thousandths. That's, that's actually casted to uh, clean up to a three quarter inch bore. So we're just gonna skin it out to our uh, tap size. Give the old power tap trick a shot at this. All right, let's uh, stop there. By the way, that's the 20 in drill chuck. That'll work good right there. We'll just leave it right where it's tapped. <clears throat> Come on. I'm gonna turn that OD down to one and three eighths. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because that's the largest collet that I have. I wanna turn this down and then put it in my collet chuck and then turn the inch and a quarter step to fit the machine. Using a high speed tool, not too crazy of a speed or a feed there, and kind of keeping the chips maintained right there where you see them. All right, we got about a hundred thousandths to bring it on down. go with a three quarter inch wide part half it half inch to stick out quarter inch to go down inside the, the housing so we got enough to face the back side of it I got 
got my little catch tool right here, a piece of brass rod. Using a high speed steel parting blade there. Before that gets all the way off, take the file, just break that corner on the back. So I'm going to remove the four jaw Cushman chuck and install the hardened collet chuck. And I'm shamefully going to admit that I still have not wired up the Victor yet. I just have not got to it. I've been meaning to. And it seems like other things jump in, jump in line ahead of it. That's okay. Monarch will handle it. We'll clean that real good, clean everything real good and put the collet chuck on. All right, there she is mounted up. There's our one and three eighths collet. Should give us plenty right there. Okay, that's, uh, that's almost topped out right there. <laughs> there ain't, ain't much counterweight on the spindle right now. That's 700. That last cap I made, I made it 1 inch 251, so I'm probably going to go with 1 inch 250 on this. And I'll be able to kind of tweak it with a file or some emery if I need to. Okay, we're going to take that out. We're going to give it a shot, see if it works. Alright, so this is the one that we're making it for, and I've test fit it. I did have to uh, polish it a couple of times, so I got it to where it'll, it'll push down in there. And my other idea, if I had to uh, redo this again because it's trying to like leak, is I can do the same thing that I just did and just put a small O-ring on there and just let the O-ring uh, fit it. I actually meant to do that today is look for an O-ring and I was just so busy I forgot all about it. So that's why I'm trying to do this now because I'm trying to get I'm trying to get all this done now that I got all the parts so that we can uh, put the oil in it and fire it up. So I'm going to put a little bit of dab of thread sealant on this uh, pipe thread right there and uh, screw it together lightly and that will work for what we need to block the oil and be able to look down in there and see that the oil is actually pumping up to this.
we're going to start getting the, the the felt cord put into the the oil pockets there and i think what i decide i'm going to do is cut them i'm going to go ahead and pack one in and just see how it kind of comes out i'm going to cut them at 16 inches there and about and just kind of wrap it just spiral it down in there and then we'll probably cut some more and then spiral it in the middle of it uh, the first one I started with was the uh, circumference of the hole right there and I quickly realized that's that may not be the best way to do it let's just cut a longer one and just kind of spiral it down into into the hole this is one of the ones I had pulled out and it's about 16 inches long uh, maybe about 18 inches long but it's stranded I mean it's there's a bunch of them all wound up together so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to try it. I don't think I can, I don't think I can really hurt it as long as we've got the hole packed with this felt cord, we should be fine. got to have something to push it down behind that that inner tube there I ain't quite figured out why it's offset like it is I don't know if it's for oil flow or what but this is what I'm going to do I'm just going to coil it down in there like that I don't care if it's right or wrong that's just how I'm going to do it Just like that, and then we'll kind of compact it in there some, and then we'll just keep adding, adding to it, and uh, filling up that hole right there. I'm gonna push some more down in there, just like that. There we go. I'm going to call that one packed right there. I'm going to do the other three like that. All right, there's the there's the oil sight glass. I'm going to go ahead and push it down on there. Okay, one down. I got all four of them packed with the felt to what I feel should be an adequate amount. But we can play with that once we get the machine fired up and see how it reacts. Hopefully this guy will work good too, just like that. All right, we got those done. I got one more I need to do, which is this guy here. I need to go into this. Of course, we still got our oil tube uh, to deal with right there. I'm hoping that I can fix that at the same time. And I did get my supplies. We got our oil and I got oil tube and felt because I need to do these felt wipers right here. This is gonna be the next thing. I'm gonna start on that tomorrow. But I was happy to get this done right here. So I'm going to try to get, we got these done. I got to get these done, get that one done. And then I believe we'll be ready to put the oil in it and get the machine fired up.